Hello students, this week you will be making a springtime craft. This is an example of the craft you will be making. This will be hung in our window to look pretty as we come in from outside. To complete this project, you will need the following things. You will need a half a sheet of construction, green construction paper. You'll need a half a sheet of white paper. You'll need a glue stick, a pencil. You'll need a tracer for the stem and for the flower petal, scissors, and you'll also need a baggie that looks like this that has the paper for your flower. Step one, you will need to take out your paper out of your bag. The circle is the middle part of your flower. Then you have five sheets of paper for your petals. You will need to take your tracer Turn over one of your sheets of paper, so you'll trace it on the white side. Take your pencil and you're going to trace your flower petal. You're gonna do this on each sheet of paper. Make sure you're tracing on the white side of your paper so you can see it. Step two, once you have all your petals traced on your paper, take your scissors, and now you're going to cut each petal out. Take your time, work nice and carefully, so you end up with a beautiful flower to hang in our window. These are going to look so good. So there I have one petal already cut out. You're going to continue doing that until you get each petal cut out. As you can see, I now have all my petals cut out, so I'm ready for step three. Step three, you're going to take your white sheet of paper, you're going to take your circle for the middle of your flower, and you're going to put that on your paper in the center. Then you're going to line up your petals the way you want them to look on your flower. So you're gonna line them up, we're not gluing yet, you're just getting them where you want them first so you have a plan. So, and you can put these petals however you wanna put them. This is your flower, but you wanna kinda of have an idea, so go ahead and set them up now before you begin gluing. Okay, so I think that's how I want my flower to look. So now what I am going to do is I am going to move my petals just over to the side so I remember where I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna take my blue circle and I'm gonna put glue on it and put it back down on my paper. glue that down. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to glue one petal at a time and place it where I want it on my paper like so. So I'm going to start with one and then I'm going to go from there. Put it right up against your circle, press down so it sticks nicely, and you're going to continue doing that until you have all of them glued on to your sheet of paper. Now, as you can see, I have my flower petals all glued down to my paper. Now I'm ready for the next step. So on the next step, I'm gonna take my scissors and I am going to carefully cut this flower out of the white paper. Now take your time once again, go nice and carefully. You wanna cut right on the outside of your petals so you have a, your flower left. Please take your time while you're doing this. There's no rush. We want these flowers to look nice and beautiful. You're gonna continue doing that until you get it all the way cut out. Now, as you can see, I have my flower cut out, so I'm ready for the next step. The next step, you wanna get your green construction paper, 
and your tracer for the stem. And you're gonna lay that stem on your green paper and you're going to carefully trace the stem onto your green construction paper. Once you get that completed, you wanna carefully take your scissors and cut your stem out. Remember, if you need to, you may pause this video and go back to it as many times as you need to as you're working. Remember, you wanna take pride in your work and do the best job that you can do. If you take your time, this project will turn out beautiful and it will look so good hanging in our window. We'll have a bouquet of flowers hanging in our window. Won't that look nice? So there I have my stem traced. Oop, I forgot a piece. So I'm just going to take my pencil and finish it off. So I have my stem traced. Now I'm just gonna take a moment to cut it out and I'll be back with you. Okay, now I have my flower and my stem. So I'm ready to attach my flower to the stem. Now you may do it, if you would like it to be leaning that way, you can do it like that or you could flip it over if you want it leaning the other way. And I think I'm gonna do it this way since my other flower was facing the other way. So you can do it whichever way you decide you wanna do it. Now, to complete this, what you wanna do is you want to take your stem and you wanna put the big part of your stem up here right on the circle, the middle part of your flower so it's really glued down well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my glue actually on my flower right here, and I'm gonna go down through here. Actually, I think I wanna come down through this way so it's going into the space. So I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna come here and glue it there like that. I'm gonna press down for a little while to make sure that it stays stuck. You just wanna make sure that you glue it on there real nicely so it stays down and then you may turn it over and you will have your flower. Isn't that cute? After you finish your flower, make sure that you turn it over and you put your name on the back of the white part of your flower, like I'm doing now. Great, thanks. Here are the two flowers that I made and as you can see, one's tilted towards one direction, the other's going in the other direction. It just depends on the way you put your stem on there. Now, I would like for you to please keep your plastic bag. I'm gonna have a place on the back counter for you to put your plastic bag for me. And I hope you enjoy this project. I'm sure our flowers are gonna look fabulous.